questions you should be able to answer by the end of this video. Number one, what is a chemical reaction indicator? Number two, what is the fist of five? Number three, how can I use the fist of five to help identify a chemical reaction has occurred? Let's start by defining a chemical reaction indicator. A chemical reaction indicator is any substance that gives a qualitative sign that a chemical reaction has occurred. Remember, qualitative data is using your five senses. Remember, a chemical reaction is a process in which one or more substances are converted into one or more different substances. So what is the fist of five? The fist of five. I'm glad you asked. The fist of five is an easy way to remember five of the top qualitative ways to indicate a chemical reaction has occurred. We will use these in class when performing labs. Let's learn what each finger represents. Number one, the thumb can look sort of like a lighter. So this is used to indicate the production of light or heat. Remember, just because you don't see a flame doesn't mean the temperature isn't rising. Check with a thermometer and also look for the presence of smoke. The temperature can also decrease, so make sure you use a thermometer for each reaction lab. Number two, the pointer. This finger represents the precipitate. A precipitate is a solid substance that forms when two liquids undergo a chemical reaction. Pointer, precipitate. Number three, the middle finger. Now, just like in real life, this finger can be very colorful. So this finger reminds you of a color change. This indicator should never be used alone, much like the actual finger. So make sure to have at least one other indicator with a color change so that you have enough evidence. Remember that Kool-Aid is a color change, but it's only a physical color change. You can evaporate the water and the Kool-Aid will remain. Number four, the ring finger. Usually when people get married, they are very bubbly and excited and some give a toast with bubbly. So we use this finger to remember the indicator of a gas being produced. This can usually be seen by bubbles forming, but sometimes the gas forms without bubbles. So make sure you mass your reactions before and after to see if their mass is conserved. And finally, number five, the pinky. Pinky rhymes with stinky. So remember that the pinky indicates a change in odor. It doesn't always have to change to a stronger or smelly odor. It can also become less odiferous or have no more odor at all. These are the top five ways that you can qualitatively tell a chemical change has occurred. But remember, the better way to prove a chemical reaction has occurred is to look at the chemical equation. That's all for today, folks. See you tomorrow.